going on everybody it's i pop king carter here the superman of youtube and today we are here to talk about nba live 14 once again now i'm not here to bash the game i'm not here to bash the company but uh guess what nba live 14 is not coming out on ps3 it's not coming out on xbox 360 it's not coming out on pc it's not coming out on nobody's iphone uh, it looks like they're going to hold off until Xbox One and PS4. Now, from EA's standpoint, I think it is a very smart move. A very, very smart move. And you want to know why? At this rate, I don't think they would have been able to compete with NBA 2K14 for the, the, you know, the current gen councils. And I believe that they've made a very, very smart decision. Now, from a fan standpoint, you know, for all those... 2k haters hold up quote fingers all those lebron haters you know what i'm saying I, I've, I've heard a lot of those come out the woodwork but um for all those people that is not gonna buy that game just because of a, a person on the cover i believe that you know nba live 14 isn't gonna do them any justice you know they're gonna be sitting up there like oh, i don't have a basketball game <laughs> the nba has already started <laughs> what am i gonna do well look let me put it to you guys like this EA Sports, I commend you. I do. I really do. And it's a very smart choice because EA has always been behind NBA 2K ever since, like, what, 2006? You know, they, they've always been just a step behind. And in the last three years, they haven't even came out with a game. Now, they tried to, you know, redo their whole brand with, uh, what was it, NBA the Elite that John tanked. Then they tried NBA Live 13 that tanked as well so i believe nba live 14 is their best bet to make a comeback towards basketball but at the same time with them being able to only focus on next gen and not current gen is a big big thing they've really humbled themselves with this because when you think about it you say okay they're not coming out with it on current gen councils. They're going to wait till next gen. So what are the graphics going to be like? Are they going to be stick figures? Are they going to try to do a, a total 360 or our, I'm sorry, a total 180 of, you know, their current thinking. So my thing is, I like the idea of waiting to the next gen councils. But my thing is, as it goes for sales, they must not really be worried about it. I believe that it's not about sales. It's about making the comeback. It's about letting people remember or letting people understand that they're transitioning into the new era. So, you know, EA Sports, nice. Pretty nice. I will say that. You guys definitely, you know, did a number on yourselves. At first, when I was about to make this video, I wanted to bash you guys and say, oh, you guys are, you know, totally weirdos. But... You know, this is a smart decision. You focus on the next gen only. You get your graphics right. You get your gameplay right. You get your physics right. And then when it's time for NBA Live 15 to come out, then we can talk. But uh, as it goes for NBA Live 14, I'm still get it, you know, because uh, it's me. But, uh, you know, true basketball fans always get games like that. But this is IKC signing out. I don't took up too much of you guys' time. Also, inside the description will be a detailed, well, not a detail. It'll be a link with a detailed interview um, of NBA Live 14 uh, presidents and stuff. Guys that were talking about the necessary steps that they had to make in order to, you know, hop on the next gen wave and just take it from there. But I'm going to hotline y'all on the next one. Peace.